and welcome to this edition of Motorcycle Madhouse Morning Mayhem. This is the Biker News segment over on YouTube first. You can hear the second part of the show on your favorite podcasting platform, or you can go into the description box. It will give you the link to listen to the second half of the show. The show goes for about 30 minutes. Anyway, today we have some good stuff that uh, bikers are doing in the community with turkey giveaways, uh, raising fund for charity to whole nine yards. Later on, we have that story is continuing with those two pagans out of Washington. They they have been denied bail on that beating as well as a massive raid over in Europe on clubs and other organizations. And wait till you hear about this sickle we got coming up in the wall of shame. My good. Rock and roll, InsaneThrottleTV.com is our website address. Let's get into this morning's business, shall we? Here we go. Motorcycle Club donates 180 bikes in memory of fallen Auburn police officer. This out of WTVM. Let's listen. Well, in Auburn today, Gunners Auburn Law Enforcement, a motorcycle club delivering nearly 200 bikes to children in Alabama this holiday season. All in honor of William Beekner, an officer killed in the line of duty back in 2019. Newsleader 9's Kiana Jordan has the story. Smiles, laughter, and excitement filled the parking lot of the Lee County Judicial Building in Opelika as 180 children received brand new bicycles and a picture with Santa on Sunday. That looks so cool. These bikes honoring the sacrifice of Officer William Beekner, a police officer killed in the line of duty in May of 2019. Beekner's memory stamped on each bike given out. It means a lot to us. I'm pretty sure getting a brand new bicycle means a lot to them. And I think later down the road, if they don't ride a motorcycle, they'll probably remember this and probably uh, get a bike for somebody else. The Gunners Auburn Law Enforcement Motorcycle Club gave bikes to the Big House, the Esperanza House, and the Sheriff Girls Ranch. The Gunners Auburn Law Enforcement Motorcycle Club worked tirelessly for months to raise the money for these new bikes. So the community helped us raise over $15,000 to purchase smile roughly on those a little kids, bit over 180 man. bikes. Their hard work paying off. This means a lot to the Gunners of Auburn. Uh, carrying out his legacy is the most important thing that we're trying to accomplish today. These bikes making the lives of children just a little bit better. Um, I'm thankful and grateful that I got a new bike. I got a new bike and I'm thanks, thankful for everybody to get me a bike. This is different because now I have my own bike and I don't have to keep borrowing other bikes. This becoming a tradition, the Gunners Auburn Law Enforcement Motorcycle Club wants to continue. If Will was here um, to think about all the things that we did be before he left us, right now he's smiling. I know they were happy. Next year, the Gunners Auburn Law Enforcement Association is hoping to expand and give bikes to several other organizations as well. Rock and roll right there, man. 180 bikes donated to these kids and what smiles it brought to their faces. Now over to Mansfield News Journal, turkey giveaway made possible by the Black Hatchets Motorcycle Club. Richland County uh, Children's Services, kinship families and local families receive free turkeys at the Mount Sinai Baptist Church at 275 Gray Street, bringing the turkeys were members of the Black Hatchet Motorcycle Club. The turkeys were unloaded from the back of the car and were not uh, strapped onto the members' holler lease for safety reasons. More than 200 kids are living in, in kin, uh, kind ship homes, being raised by their grandparents or other relatives, according to Bridget Cole, spokesman for the Children's Services. It's just amazing how much 
work that clubs do that bikers do for their communities that they don't get credit for sean walls of galleon a member of the motorcycle club said the group wanted to help others and wants to do charity work in area communities Anthony Spencer, who works at Richland County Children's Services, helping individuals in sobriety treatment who want to get back with their children, was glad to help. Spencer said he's a probationary member of the motorcycle as he helped carry food and boxes and hand out the turkeys. Again, uh, motorcycle clubs really don't get the good press. Everybody, well, everybody comes to us, you know, mainly to see the bad stuff, but there is a lot of good that bikers really do do, and it's really important to highlight that type of stuff. Regardless of what you think of this or that club or this biker or that biker, we're all inclusive now as a news agency. Yes, I have my personal belief, but as a, a business we got to cover it all because it's more out there than just one percent clubs 99 percent clubs there's all kinds of clubs and riding clubs out there as well as independent bikers so that's where we're headed on the news now we're gonna go to my website harleyliberty.com this is where you can get everything and you know it's a news aggregator service you'd get everything what you want at harleyliberty.com the main story today, two suspected motorcycle gang members charged in connection with the reported beating denied bail. And this is a story that we've been following for quite some time since it happened. Uh, one, I think one or two of them are correctional officers in Washington. They were extra, well not Washington, Oregon, my fault. Correction there, don't kill me. It is Oregon. They were arrested and charged with a, in connection with a reported beating of of a Spalding County man in May waived their arraignments last week in Spalding uh, County Superior Court. They were charged with aggravated assault, aggravated battery, three counts of criminal street gang act violations. They were denied bail. It's like they put that hand up. Denied! Uh, witnesses reportedly told deputies that several members of the Pagan Outlaws motorcycle gang entered big gyms as the victim and his friends were singing karaoke. One of the alleged gang members started a fight with the victim, leaving the victim severely ble beaten and with a fractured skull and bleeding brain. It's actually lucky that uh, he didn't die from that stuff. Uh, the suspects ran before responding deputies arrived. Uh, according to the suspect's indictment, uh, Wedlin and Montgomery are said to have participated in the beating with the intent to obtain, earn, maintain, and increase his status in said gang. Hey, don't forget over here, Insane Throttle, help us hit 10,000 followers. Get over there and follow us. It goes on to say during a months long investigation, uh, Sheriff's Office investigators learned that Wedland and Montgomery were reportedly active members of the Pagan Club, also known as the Pagans, and they learned Wedland was serving as the reported chapter president of the Pagans territory in Washington state and Oregon. Now over to Germany, man, craziness getting on over there. German police raid money laundering gangs and bikers. German police carried out raids in the state of North Rhine in one operation targeting international money laundering gangs and another focused on a local biker group a number of sites uh, suspected of connection to the money laundering were searched. State prosecutors in the western city, uh, German city of Duisburg, confirmed. Uh, one of them uh, investigations had to deal with um, more than 250 officers searched properties belonging to a rocker group in Cologne and nearby town of Pulham. Police said the raids were carried out as part of an investigation into attempted murder launched 
after a former Hells Angel member was shot at in Cologne at the end of October. They said the investigation targeted 15 men aged 23 to 51, all members of a local Hells Angel group. The searches were carried out to find evidence and find the weapon used in the shooting. No one was injured during the attack on the 31-year-old, but one of the three bullets fired pierced the blinds of an apartment belonging to someone unconnected with the incident. The Hell's Angels have been implicated in a variety of violent crimes in Germany. Now for the sick. Sicko! Yes, the sicko. It is wall of shame time. And boy, if anybody deserves to be on the wall of shame, it's this dude. Former Louisiana cop sentenced 20 years for disturbing abuse of a dog, child porn possession. He was sexually abusing his dog. What? the heck is wrong with people's mind today possession of child pornography and sexually abusing his dog well i guess you probably had peanut butter you freak uh district judge michael craig on tuesday sentenced former bossy air city officer terry yetman the four years for each of five counts of sexual abuse of animals and concurrent sentence of 20 years for the child porn charge i can say he's going to be experiencing some stuff that's a little sexually deviant inside the joint god hope anyway he surrendered himself to the Bazier Parish uh, Sheriff's Department in 2018. They charged him with sexually abusing his dog, possession of child uh, or pornographic images of a person doing the same. <laughs> he was you bestiality, really, dude. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, state police took custody of the dog named Boss and sent him to a rescue in Texas. They ultimately fired him, who remained in prison since arrest. Uh, Yetman 40 pleaded guilty dozens of charges in August as part of the plea deal with the state, which led to the dismissal of dozens of additional charges. Uh, his arrest helped federal authorities track down a retired deputy for another child pornography charge quote according to the original suspect in yetman's conversation yetman asked for and received a used pair of underwear belonging to uh, oh my goodness gracious you sick sucker you you sick sucker you and in colorado we talked about this on the morning hoot the other day colorado there's a board that now says that you shouldn't use the term sex offender because it could hurt somebody's feelings. Yes, I suggest you go over and listen to that one, or you can look up the article online. I am not kidding. They actually said that, and they actually said we shouldn't be using the term looting either. It is going absolutely ape crap out there right now with this freaky stuff happening. Come on, dog porn? Are you stupid? And then this child, pen oh my goodness. What kind of people are these? I don't even consider them people. I can't. I can't. Not when you're doing that kind of stuff, man. That's nastiness. That's nastiness business. Wall of Shame is really deserved in this case with this one. And you guys are always banging on one percenters? My God, look at your crimes. My, just imbeciles, man. Anyway, coming up, we got uh, Event Sevenfold. For those that are listening to us on the podcast right now, you can, again, listen to the podcast and the rest of the show. Very interesting stuff. The topic of the second part is why are people afraid of bikers i don't know i don't know but i explain it in the second half of the show don't forget to go over to roco and uh, install that uh, insane throttle tv app as well as our google play 
Uh, go over to Google Play and get uh, the Insane Throttle Radio app and help us get to 10,000 followers on Instagram at Official Insane Throttle. Yeah, I'll catch you guys later. I'll see you over on the other side. To the extent that pending criminal matters are discussed on this website or YouTube channel, all such charges are merely accusations and all defendants are presumed innocent until and unless proven guilty in a court of law. Download the Insane Throttle Radio app and listen to the hottest modern rock on the planet. No commercials at all. Just hard rock and roll, baby. Download the Insane Throttle Radio app for Android now on Google Play. Rock on.